A lot of people enjoy playing games in their free time, but some don't know exactly what is needed in order to have a smooth experience in today's games. So, in this video, I'm gonna try to help you in choosing the best GPU for gaming based on the resolution you intend to play. I'm gonna include GPUs from all vendors, Nvidia, AMD and Intel. Not all vendors have GPUs that cover the performance range from the lowest to the highest and this video will help you understand the performance tires of this GPU generation. When it comes to prices, this is a bit difficult to recommend as prices vary by region. In some countries, some GPUs may be cheaper than in others. So, I will recommend at least two options and after you can check which one is better priced. When it comes to model manufacturer, I advise to check online for shops that have good return policy and don't worry too much, as nowadays the most expensive one is close in performance to the cheapest one. I'm gonna focus mostly on current generation GPUs, but I'm gonna mention some past generation as well. I will try to get current generation GPUs as we are about 6 months away from the launch of the next one and I will expect that the previous series, that is 3000 series from Nvidia and 6000 series from AMD will not get many game optimizations, so have that in mind. I'm gonna use the charts from Tech Power Up to base my recommendations as I didn't test all these cards and this is a reputable website for PC hardware reviews. We're gonna start with entry-level gaming cards and competitive shooter that should be good for 1080p medium to high settings in most games out there. Now, why I'm saying for competitive shooters? Well, it's for starters, you don't need to enable all eye candy in these games and this is a good budget start point. At this resolution and settings, I would go with one of the following, Nvidia's RTX 4060, AMD's RX 7600 or Intel's ARC 770. Nvidia's 4060 and AMD's 7600 are the lowest end cards of this generation. In past generations, these 128B cards were sold mostly to system integrators and these were not part of the mainstream GPU series. But now, to squeeze as much money as possible from the end user, these GPUs are sold as mainstream ones. Intel's option ARC 770 can be a bit troublesome in some games as Intel is still adding game optimization for all the ones, so take that into account. From the previous generation there is the RX 6650 XT or the 3060 from Nvidia, the 12GB version, but this one tends to be a bit slower. When we move to 1080p high settings or 1440p medium settings, we have the 4060 Ti or the 77 XT. The 77 XT is faster than the 4060 Ti and could be the better buy, if the price is good in your region. I believe that with these cars you can enable some light ray tracing effects. From the previous generation, there is the 6800 from AMD or the 3070 from Nvidia, but the latter has only 8GB of VRAM. For 1440p high settings, I think that the 7900 GRE or the 4070 Super are the cars to go with. The 7900 GRE has the best price to performance ratio in AMD's current lineup, but if the difference between it and the 7800 XT is more than 50 euros or dollars, I think the latter will get my recommendation. Nowadays, the 4070 Super is close in price to the original 4070, but if there is a difference, again of 50 dollars euros, I think it doesn't deserve the extra cost. One thing to mention is that the 4070 Super has an edge over the 7900 GRE when enabling ray tracing, but both cars need tweaking in order to enjoy a smooth experience. Also, Nvidia tends to have a bit better upscaling, so that can be a plus for the 4070 Super. I tested the 4070 Super and the 7800 XT and these are good cards for 1440p high settings, but the 7900 GRE is a bit better than the 7800 XT as it has more cores, so have that in mind if you are deciding between the two. When it comes to 4K gaming, meaning 
medium to high settings in most games with a few tweaks here and there. I think that the 7900 XT from AMD and the 4070 Ti Super from Nvidia are good starting points. Both can deliver above 60 FPS in most games, have enough VRAM, but when enabling RT, the Nvidia card has again the upper hand. Above these cards are the 4080 Super and the 7900 XTX. Both are better, but if you want RT in all games, then the 4080 Super will be the better choice. The 7900 XTX is usually cheaper, with better raster performance, and can hold its own when it comes to ray tracing, except in Nvidia optimized games and when using path tracing. The ultimate GPU for 4K gaming is the 4090 and it's been that way since its launch, as AMD doesn't have a contender for it. And there you go, these are my recommendations. I didn't mention some GPUs as the performance difference is small compared to the ones mentioned in this video. I know that by using upscaling some GPUs may enable high settings at a given resolution, but I didn't base my recommendation taking this into account. Also, prices may vary from region to region and this is why I didn't do this video based on price brackets. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.